Hey everyone, in this video I wanted to talk about a new product that Redbubble released recently and that is holographic stickers. So they've always had matte stickers and glossy stickers and transparent stickers, but now they have holographic stickers. I'm going to show you what that is. I actually bought some, so I'm going to show you on camera what they look like and give you my feedback on it. But before we do that, I want to go to Redbubble so you can see it online on their website and the ones that I actually bought. And we're gonna look at price points as well. So let's get into Redbubble first and take a look at their holographic stickers. Okay, so here we are on Redbubble. I'm in incognito mode, so I'm not signed in so that you can see the homepage. If you're logged in, you won't see this, but this is what people see that don't have an account. So when we go on here on Redbubble, if you scroll down, you'll see right here, new shop stickers. And you can see the new stickers are this kind of metallic holographic looking stickers. And I'm gonna click on here and so you can see um, what it is. So you can see shop new holographic stickers. I wish there was like an actual page or more. This always pops up uh, that shows us what is holographic stickers, but we can click on it and let's just pick the first one. And we're gonna see it's holographic right there. You can see the price points just a little bit different on here. Probably the most expensive out of the th four, yes, depending on what you put your uh, royalties at. But uh, assuming that you put your royalties the same across all stickers, I believe Holographic will be the uh, most expensive one here. And then, uh, oh, let's go to Holographic. We're gonna see um, what they are. So Holographic border around each design, actually the whole thing is holographic so it's not just the border i mean there is the that white border but everything including the the thing in the middle the graphic in the middle is holographic i guess uh holographic finish oh i guess that you know that's what it's saying uh and then that's it so it doesn't say like anything else besides that that's why i wanted to make this video so you can see on here so i'm going to show you the difference on mine but first Let's take a look at some of the price points like I showed you that this is the most expensive and you'll probably get, if people buy this, get more per sale as well. All right, so here I am in the pricing part of it. You can see stickers, all the stickers. I usually mark my stickers up 70%. So you can see right here, uh, the margins are a, a little higher for holographic stickers, but that's also because the price is a little higher. So you can see kind of almost a dollar bump up in price. So we got 452, 495, 423, and then 564 for one sticker. So um, kind of high, but they're always on sale. So they don't really pay this price. You probably pay like two, three bucks. And you'll see that on my, uh, on the stickers that I got. Okay. So uh, what are the stickers that I bought? I'm going to show you here. I wanted to do one this one right here, one of my most popular stickers on my store, Moab. And the reason why I wanted to do this, if you click on here, you can see lots of different colors. So how does the holographic uh finish do on these uh, colors right here? Can I see them? Are they distinct? Uh, are they gonna show through? For the holographic one, you can't really see the difference, right? But you'll see it on here. So if we um, zoom in, this is glossy. I'm gonna zoom in again. So this is glossy, this is the normal one, and I bought this one as well, just kind of as a test. So we'll see this one in person on camera, as well as this holographic one, you'll see uh, a little darker, but also they can't really show, like it's better to show the light as, as you move it for holographic, and they're, so they're trying their best to kind of mimic what that is, what that metallic look is on here. But you can see a little darker uh, than the normal one but kind of shiny is kind of what they're doing. All right, and oh, and uh, as by the way, the price, right? So the glossy one, 340, whereas this holographic one, 425. So you may want to change that. I don't know if you want to change it instead of having it all 70% and kind of give you this one, making it a little lower, which you'll still get the same amount per sticker. So um, just look at that, adjust accordingly to what you want to do. So. Uh, that's the difference. I'm gonna also do this one, which is a full AI design. So I made this in ChatGPT or ChatGPT made it with my prompt. And you can see really cool design. I upscaled it in dgb.lol. And so just really nice artwork, nothing else. It's not vector, it is raster. It is a uh, design that ChatGPT made. So I wanted to see how that handles on a sticker not only on the glossy, but also the holographic one. And you can see again, this one is a little darker. 
too. So, and the last one that I'm gonna do here is this one also made with ChatGPT, but I didn't upscale it and I also put in a Octo Coffee down here. I'm gonna zoom in on the glossy one. You can see this was vector, the background was vector Octo Coffee, that circle and everything, but the octopus holding the coffee and everything wasn't vector and kind of put those two together to see how that would do on a sticker as well as a holographic sticker. So you can see the holographic version is a lot darker too. All right, and they all have the holographic finish. Oh, one thing to note is you don't necessarily have to click on holographic. I mean, when you make your new ones, you do, but a lot of my old ones already had holographic. I didn't actually have to go into my old ones like I thought I did and click on holographic. They kind of came free, most of them. There were some that didn't, but a lot of the ones that are on stickers, like if I go to back to my uh, shop here and I go to like stickers, I didn't turn on holographic stickers for all of these, but if I went and just picked a random one here, you can see it's already there, holographic. So you may already have this. All you have to do is make sure you change the royalties if you want them to pay more or give you a better royalty. So I didn't buy this one, but I just wanted to show you that uh, it, holographic is there. So you don't really have to, for the new ones I think you do, um, but for their old ones, you don't have to go if you have thousands of stickers, don't go back and check on holographic for all of them. Okay, so next step is I'm gonna show you what I got in the mail. I'm gonna do a comparison not only to this, or not only to these, kind of what you see online, but also to between the glossy and the holographic so you can see kind of the difference. Yes, it got darker, um, the, are the colors different, and so on. So let's do that right now. All right, so for the first one, let's do it in, in a different order. I'm gonna do the boba first, and you'll see why in a second, but this is my boba sticker. Let's see if I can get up close here to my camera. Uh, it is actually very clear. My camera's not doing, doing it justice, but it's, it's very sharp. Like, it's not pixelated at all. I upscaled it and everything. The color looks great, and you can see the, the circles are really good. And we kind of have this, um, almost like this gradient thing going on here that ChatGPT did. So again, this is a full ChatGPT sticker. Like I, I upscaled it, but I didn't do anything else besides remove the background and, and stuff. But yeah, I didn't add any vector art to it or clean it up or change it to a vector, vectorizing. So, okay, so that versus the holographic version of it, you can see with the light, it's kind of cool with the, with the colors. And so that's what it is. Uh, I don't know if I can put my face here so you can see both, but it's actually a lot darker. So when you look at them together like this, it's a lot darker. It's better in light, and because I have a lot of lights around me when I'm recording, it's doing this whole colorful thing, whoops. It's doing the whole colorful thing, which is cool, which is why it's holographic, right? So I think it turned out great. Um, if you're looking at it in a low light room, you might think, I can't see those colors, it's really dark. And it is darker than, like if you put them side by side, yes, it is darker, but in the light, it does this cool effect, and it's not that much darker when you put light on it. If you put it down, and again, in a low light room, you may think that I can't, I can't even see that. But surprisingly, in the, in the light with all the lights here, it's really cool, check that out, woo. All right. Let's go to the next one. And the reason I did the boba is to save space is they, they print two at a time um, because I ordered multiple. So let's focus on, I'll fold this a little bit, the Moab one. You can see the colors on there, which is really good. This is all vector done in Affinity Designer. And of course, it's gonna be nice, crisp and clean. No pixelation, because it's not pixels, it's vectors. Um, and there you go. And here is the, let me show you, I'm gonna fold it over again. This one, it's kinda of cool. Well, I'll just hold it like that. So yeah, it's kinda of hard to see the different colors, but with the lighting and with the colors, it gives that cool effect. So you can tell that there is color in there. It's kind of a vintage sunset thing going on. And because of the silverness of it, I don't really see the yellow, at least, I don't know, maybe you can see the yellow with the Moab and the and the moon or sun, 
uh, it kind of feels almost like it's white but has a metallic on it because it is a really light yellow on here. So I, I think that helps there, but yeah, that's how it turned out. So you can actually see kind of the different layers if you look really well. At a different angle, you it's hard to see, but at a certain angle you can. And of course in the dark, it's gonna make it a lot harder, but I think it did, did a pretty good job on that metallic and I, I like that sticker, pretty cool. All right, so the last one is this Octo Coffee. You can see right there. Uh, I didn't upscale this one and you can tell a little bit. It's a little pixelated on the octopus. And oh, I also put, <laughs> I shouldn't have done this, but I also put a texture on it. So if you look really close near Octo, near TNO, you can see there's a texture on it. And so that might uh, attribute to having it not as, as clear um, because I wanted kind of that effect on it there, but not bad. I think it's still, there you go. The camera doesn't zoom in very well, but um, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. And here it is with the metallic. So definitely with um, more contrasting colors, I think it, it does a better job. But if your colors are really close to each other, it's gonna be hard, at least for me, to see the different colors in between there. So uh, again, with the boba one, because we had you know, very contrasty colors with the green and the white and the black. That that turned out a lot better, easier to see than something like this where the octopus has kind of almost the same color throughout. So it, it did a weird, not weird, but it's different, right? It's, it's kind of darker. So there you go. Um, probably my least favorite out of the three, but still turned out pretty good on it. I would say um, for metallic ones, you know, try and do more I wouldn't do a lot of colors on here. I would do contrasting colors like this. This one turned pretty good. Like I would, I have, I would probably get um, one with more like rainbowy colors because it's already doing that rainbow thing with the light on it, right? So there you go. Um, first impressions. When I first opened it up, I thought it was so dark that, and you may feel that too. When you first open it up, it's such a different contrast to it. Oh, we didn't do it up against each other. So I'll put this up here so we can see this versus what's online. Let's do that. And let's see, octopus. So this is what I have. Again, I'm, I'm using a lot of light too. So this what it, versus what you see online. And then this, well, let me do that. This, how about like this? <laughs> this versus what we have online. There we go. So it's it's really hard to show online just as one static picture. It's easier to kind of see it in the light as you move it so that you can see the colors moving around. So there you go. Hopefully that was really helpful for, uh, for you to see what a holographic sticker on Redbubble looks like. I would suggest you buy uh, some of your own if you already sell it or when you're looking on there, look for the ones that just have a lot more color, kind of a rainbow color. I think those can have a really cool effect uh, with the holographic uh, thing on it. So yeah, promote these. I think this would make great stocking stuffers if you're doing it for the holidays as well. So have fun with these. It is a new product. If there's another product that you want to see on this channel that you kind of want to see in person, but not in person, like on, on camera versus what, what you see online, let me know. It can be from Redbubble or any other print on demand site. Uh, I'd love to do a, a review for, the, for you on there and hopefully it's really helpful. So thanks again for watching. If you wanna see another review on another Red Bubble, Bubble product, I did this one right here when I had socks and buttons. So take a look at that one. You can see what I, uh, what I showed online. Thanks again for watching and as always, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.